China's National People's Congress is underway in Beijing. The delegates will officially appoint the country's next premier and his cabinet. The economy and pollution will be among the challenges facing the new leadership. So too will be what to do about the increasingly unpopular one-child policy. Our Beijing correspondent, Catherine Messier, reports now on one sad consequence, invisible children. On the streets of Beijing, she looks like any other teenager. But in the eyes of the Chinese authorities, Li Xue doesn't exist. When her mom gave birth to her 19 years ago, what should have been a happy moment turned to sorrow. Li Xue was the second child of the family. Because her parents violated the one-child policy, her birth was never registered. When a person is born, he or she should be given a hukou, but she doesn't have one. She has no rights. A hukou, or documentation. For years now, Li Xue and her family have been appealing to authorities for the life-giving papers. I hope that one day when I have an identity, I'll be able to pass exams, get a degree and have my own life. Because she was never registered, Li Xue never went to school. But her big sister did and taught her how to read and write. The family of four lives on $240 a month, so books have to be borrowed at the library using her sister's card. I feel it's quite unfair. It hurts not to have a normal life like other kids my age. She says when others complain about their homework, she only wishes she could exchange her life with them. I cry, but I don't do it in front of my parents, she says. Without the hukou, Li Xue cannot get a job, travel within China, let alone abroad. For her, getting married or even receiving treatment at the hospital is impossible. Her father says officials have told them only substantial bribes of thousands of dollars could solve their case, but the family can't afford to pay them. It's impossible to know how many people like Li Xue there are in China today, but figures from 25 years ago show that at the time, one million children were born every year and never registered. And so a policy that was made to control population and punish the parents ended up punishing the innocent, the children. Catherine Mercier, CBC News, Beijing.